We're talking with Ron Williams, board member, Western Stock Show Association and vice chair of the Capital Campaign. Ron, thanks so much for your time today. Well, thanks for coming and having this time. Well, Ron, first of all, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you grew up. I grew up in Nebraska in a small rural community. And uh, I guess that's uh, kind of was the genesis of how I got involved over time with, with things like the stock show. Right. It was in your blood right from the beginning, that is, as it were. Now, I understand that you've been coming to the stock show since you were in high school. So talk a little bit about how you started coming to Denver. I started coming to Denver to the stock show when I was in high school and uh, had uh, two or three cousins that we, every year during the stock show, we'd skip school and, <laughs> and drive 300 miles to, to National Western and spend a few days and then drive back. And, and uh, well, my, my mom used to say that she was convinced that I wanted to be Roy Rogers, you know, and I, <laughs> well, uh, didn't Roy. Yeah, I was going to say, and probably that's true, right. but uh, I had a lot of, you know, a lot of fun and interest in the agricultural community, and so, uh, you know, it just kind of evolved over time. So something that was inborn, really, with you, just was, uh, it just increased as you saw the stock show. Yes. Yeah. That was something you really look forward to every well, year. Well, yeah, I mean, in early, my early days, I realized that this is a very unique institution, and with everything, all the cattle coming through here and all that, there's the only place in the, you can see that. I mean, I, where I came from, some, some farmer may have three cows, and you know, he was a cowboy, you know? <laughs> but that's, uh, and that's not the case around here. Right. Now, I know this goes without saying, but I can imagine you've seen a lot of changes during all those years. So what do you think has been the most significant change or, or perhaps changes? Probably the most significant is just the growth of the organization and all of that. And that's part of the problem we're having or have had is that yesterday, I think we had 54,000 people. We've had over 60,000 on certain days. You know, I mean, that didn't used to be that way. And so that really accelerated our focus on, well, hey, we've got to do something with the National Western to, to keep it going and, and keep it growing and keep it uh, adapting to itself to the other, the new areas, not only of agriculture, but of education. Sure. And the evolution of the stock show, with everything that goes on, you have to keep up. Right, right. Yeah, we definitely have to keep up. And, and uh, the industries have changed. I mean, in our partnership with Colorado State University, right. uh, that's a huge plus for this organization, huge. And uh, it's just nowhere else in the world will you see this kind of an operation. Right. And how wonderful that is. Now, Ron, you've served a lot of uh, key roles at the National Western, from Western Stock Show Association board member to board chair to vice chair of the Capital Campaign. What has kept you motivated to be involved to that degree all these years? I don't know, Ed. I, other than I just always loved this organization and uh, uh, tried to be here when I could. And uh, it's uh, just in my blood. You know, somehow. I mean, I've always been in, involved in agriculture uh, to some degree, and uh, either directly or f indirectly. I mean, helping uncles, you know, do their farming and you know that kind of stuff when I was, when I was young. We have ranchers that are on the on the board of directors. Right. You know, we have business people, we have real estate developers, we have bankers, and we have you know all kinds of different skill sets, and so they all bring a different perspective, which then we can meld and really have something to the show. Right. Now, let's talk a little bit about the, the campaign. You've been making great progress on that $100 million goal. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this campaign is resonating with so many people, including those who have been generous in the past? I think we started talking about some of us in the community. And I, I've, I've put together a luncheon meeting about six years ago of 25 people. And they're all, de all diverse backgrounds. And said, you know, if we don't do something with the National Western, to make it viable, we're going to lose it. Right. And we came out of that discussion with everybody saying, yeah, you know what, that's right, we've got to do something. And uh, so we were able to really get a lot of early interest and people uh, thinking about what should this be, what could this be. Whereas before that, they were looking at it, well, it's a rodeo, you know. Well, it's, it's not just your daddy's rodeo, I mean, it's something else. And so that, uh, Got, we had a lot of a lot of interest generated by people once they started thinking about it, and then we formed an organization and raised money, and here we go. 
Well, you had great foresight to think about that, but what must have been satisfying to you was the response that you got. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I really couldn't believe it. And when we, uh, we had, <laughs> we went out with a bond issue uh, and uh, to raise money for the right. thing. And there are 35 precincts in the city and county in Denver. Our bill passed every one of them. Every, every precinct voted in favor. And these were you know, neighborhoods that you would think the people in those neighborhoods would not even understand, care, or want to have the stock children. Right, right. But everybody, you know, they, they got it. They really got it. They understood. Well, you know, I mean, we're going to be immensely successful, and everybody understands that. That had to be terribly gratifying yeah, for, for you. The, there was just a hundred percent participation. It was a hundred percent, you know, and I couldn't I couldn't believe it, <laughs> but it happened. Wow. Now you and your wife Seal made an early and very significant investment in the campaign, and in recognition of that, the new yards will be forever named Seal and Ron Williams Yards. So tell me a little bit about what motivated you and your wife to make such a significant contribution here. Yeah. Well, how I felt about the National Western, how I felt about the stock show, and how I felt about what I thought its future was going to be. Right. You know, the more I thought about it, I said, you know, we've been involved in the community, you know, through our some, our own philanthropy, and you know, this ought to be part of that. And so, the more we talked about it, the more Seal and I talked about it, the, the more we thought we, you know, we wanted to make a significant investment. And I view it as an investment. You know, it's not like a charitable contribution, although it is, I guess. But I, I view it as really an investment. And you know, I've had a business career that I've been very successful. I've, I've got you know a lot to be grateful and thankful for. And so. Uh, I thought, you know, this ought to be part of that portfolio of things that we are invested in. It took some discussion. <laughs> My wife wondered whether or not I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but what you realize, I think a lot of people realize, the yards are really the heartbeat of the whole National Western, aren't they? They're so important to this uh, organization. No, no place will you find yards like right, we have. Right, exactly. And especially the magnitude. I mean, you know, and uh, it's going to be a very uh, unique situation when it's the yards. Because it, it, it's like I said, you know, you think about what we what we have going on here, and a lot of people kind of just think about, okay, they got a rodeo, it goes 16 days, you know, da da da. Well, if they were going, if they walk out to the yards and have one of the volunteers tell them about the yards yes. and what what's going on, that's a huge lever of, to generate enthusiasm for the operation plus the fact that the yards are they're functional for I mean they're they're, they're there for a purpose oh, absolutely. they're not there just to say here here's a cow right. you know <laughs> uh, they are there and they find you know they, we, you know 16,000 head of cattle will, will go through this during the stock show and also there'll be agricultural events involved in livestock year-round now that we have a facility to take care of it and also uh, the equestrian side we, we will be able to handle many more horses and uh, different kinds of shows, different kinds of events that will will really, uh, you know, be a, something unique. I mean, there will be there will be horse shows other places, but ours will be bigger and ours will be better. Right. How fine a line did you have to walk to keep the yards as people remember them, while yet improving the yards? We had some naysayers early on, but one thing we're doing is we're 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 saying, hey. Have a piece of the yards, the old yards, and so we have bricks that we're selling, you know, we, and uh, uh, off the off the yards grounds, and and that's you know people kind of say, well, okay, we still relate to it. It may just be a brick, but you know that's so we have the old and the new both. Right. So it, with all that we've talked about, all your history with the show, what do you hope or wish that your legacy will be with the National Western? Oh, I I guess it would be that. Uh, I've had the pleasure of being involved in this project and in the National Western for a long, long time and have met a lot of people and have met a lot of people that uh, contributed time, money, uh, anything that they could to see this thing succeed. And I, I guess my legacy to me would be that I've been one piece or one cog in that wheel of folks that have said, hey, we want, I want to be involved in this. Pretty, pretty big shiny cog too, by the way. <laughs> well, it, uh, yeah. Well, it was, uh, but you know, I feel, I feel really great about that. You That's know. so good.
Yeah, let, let me ask you, just kind of as we wrap up here, did you ever think, uh, you know, after your first visit back in your high school days that you would have such an impact or, or had you simply decided then that this is the direction you kind of wanted your life to take? Well, it's, it's always been kind of harkening back to what my mom used to say about Roy Rogers. I mean, I've, it's always, I've always had, you know, the enthusiasm and all that for agriculture. I mean, not only just horses and rodeos and that, cows, but, you know, farming and whatever, you know, at some level. And uh, I guess I really just did not really think that I would ever be able to do that. And of course, I, so I, you know, went off and had a business career. and which then allowed me to come back and, and say, okay, now I can invest in something like this or just in the industry in general. And we, whereas I couldn't have if I hadn't gone, you know, I mean, I was a CPA, a certified public accountant for a few years, and then I was in the oil business, in the energy business for 35. So it took a while to be able to afford to be a cowboy, but I finally got there. Ron Williams, board member, Western Stock Show Association, vice chair, capital campaign. Thanks so much and continued great success with all you're doing. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate it.